definitely not the clean game, um, but really proud of the guys, how hard they played. Um, obviously, shout out to uh, Brian, who started his first game, and, and I thought he played incredibly well for uh, a young guy, just a lot of poise, um, good decisions in the clearing game, um, and obviously timely saves when we needed them. So that was huge. Anyone ask questions? Yeah, I have one. Um, Coach, the broadcast kind of mentioned uh, during kind of the illegal stick penalty how uh, you may have given a tip to the to the refs to kind of look at that. Was that something that's true, or were they just kind of making that up? Oh, yeah. Um, our guys – so basically that – you know, the faceoff came down. Our guys felt like they checked that stick and felt like they should have dislodged the ball, and they're like, Coach, I can't believe it didn't come out. There's something not right about that stick. Um, just because they felt like they got some good checks on it and it wouldn't come out. So, um, you know, they were like, there's something up. So I had mentioned something to the officials for sure. Um, and I know there's a number of things they do to evaluate that. I'm not sure how far they got, but um, they did find it to be illegal. Um, so, and that's something that it is an advantage if, if you can utilize a stick, just because if it's, configured a certain way there are some advantages if that happens right and then just uh one more um Princeton has played phenomenal in the offensive end um their first two games averaging 18 a game um and you held them to five can you just kind of speak on uh your defensive play today yeah I think uh a number of things right Luke did a good job at the face-off x again um you know that helps um I thought we had you know, our possessions were sure we'd like to score really fast, but you know, when we didn't, I felt like we were trying to at least generate a good long possession where we can work the ball and maybe soften them up a little bit. And when we do that, it's much like, you know, football where, you know, if you have a long possession and score, it's great because your defense is rested um, and you hopefully, you know, can kind of win the possession battle and maybe wear the other team down. Um, and then I think Brian made some timely saves. Um, I thought we got to hands at times well where they would get shots, but maybe at the last second we could get a piece of their hands to, to maybe alter the shot. Um, and, and I think at the end of the day, like I thought our guys, you know, Coach Bernhardt always does a good job with our defense. I thought they had a good sense of what we wanted to try to do. Thanks, Coach. Uh, Judith, you can go if you got one. I see your hand raised. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I uh, had it. Um, how were you guys able to take advantage of all the um, man up situations? Because I know Princeton kept getting into penalties or and you guys playing, I guess, kind of also you guys playing clean, clean lacrosse to not get in tr get those penalties. Yeah, I think that's something that we strive a lot, um, whether it's on the field, off the field, just being disciplined with with little things, you know, um, anything, you know, that we can do, you know, I. I, it's funny, we were just finishing up shower in the locker room and, and John Gepper came in and just made sure the locker room was clean before we left. Um, it's something that we try to do on a daily basis is keep things clean, uh, be on time. Um, so that self-discipline, you know, there are times where maybe you want to be a little aggressive or maybe throw a, a dangerous check. And part of that is just, you know, doing the right thing and, and maybe, you know, not falling into the trap of, of throwing that and opening up an opportunity for somebody. So um, again, good coaching by Jesse, um, I think, in terms of avoiding penalties. And then uh, I thought Jake Bernhardt did a really good job with the prep. I thought the guys had a good sense of what we wanted to try to do on man up. And um, it wasn't always pretty, um, but uh, those goals were pretty timely. They were huge for us. You probably started small and then grew and grew and grew some more. It's all so complicated now. And now you and your team need all of this technology to work together for you to be successful. Viner Forgates helps you make sense of it all. Our experts untangle the complexity of your system and help you plan a brighter future. For your now, your future, and your always, choose Viner Forgates. Uh, Nikki? Uh, hey, Coach, I was just kind of wondering what went into the decision to to start Brian today and how you kind of assess him and the defense's performance uh, holding Princeton to their lowest output since 2016. Yeah, we, um, you know, Brian's done a great job since he got here. Um, you know, the thought was to redshirt Brian. Um, 
And he had a good fall. Um, you know, you're able to redshirt, but still let the guys compete in some, some competition. So in the fall, he did play against Team USA. Um, he did play against our alums, which is usually a, a lot of professional guys. Um, and he did play well. Um, so we felt good about that. We felt good about Teddy. And they've kind of, you know, kind of been going back and forth. We have total confidence in both those guys. Um, but I think we had to make a decision last week. We went with Teddy. He had the experience. Um, and I thought he did enough for us to win last week. Um, but we also feel really good about Brian and he's done a good job in practice. Um, you never know what's going to happen when, you know, the game starts. Uh, you, you, you hope he's ready for the moment. I think Brian proved that he was ready for the moment. Um, and the moment wasn't too big for him. So uh, certainly happy for him. And then just one more, if I can uh, follow up with real quick, uh, you, you guys had three first half goals, which I think is the, the lowest output since uh, 2019, but you really came out in the in the second half and got some good opportunities, even on set of looks, um, went with, uh, even against even, uh, without even man up opportunities. What kind of went into getting those looks and did, what did you see really change out of the attack after the break? Yeah, and I think you got to give Princeton's defense a lot of credit for the first half performance. Um, one, they have really good players, and uh, Jeremy Hirsch does a good job with their defense. I thought their goalie played great. I think he had 11 saves, um, so we weren't sure. They have been flip-flopping goalies. Uh, they have a really good stable of goalies at Princeton, and Matt Madelon, their head coach, is a goalie coach. So um, having somebody that is that, like, just knowledgeable about goalie play is a huge advantage. So – I thought their kid last year was very good, and both the guys that are playing right now are very good. And uh, Rackauer, I thought, was excellent in the first half. Um, I felt like, um, you know, there were some ones that maybe we could have placed a little better, but, again, kind of look at their defense, maybe forcing us to shoot some spots. And then uh, when we did get those, I thought Rackauer was excellent. Um, and then I just felt like we just talked about maybe changing things up a little bit. Um, we did get some good locations, um, you know, in terms of where we were on the field. And I just felt like we shot better uh, in the second half because I think both those goalies are very good. Uh, we can wrap up with Henry. Thank you. How you doing, Coach? Congrats on the win. Um, hey, Henry. Dan Kelly, he scored four goals in each game the last two. And then today he only had two goals. Maltz had possibly his best game of the season. Course added three. Can you talk about the offense by committee that you guys have this season over other seasons? Yeah, and that, that's for us. Um, you know, it's probably, you know, for our recipe for success, right? It's Luke winning face offs, playing good, solid defense, offensively trying to maximize what we have. But we have I don't know if we have a Logan Wisnowskis or Jerry Bernhardt, but I think the identity is for everybody to play well together. And each week, maybe it's somebody else uh, that steps up. And obviously today, Dan didn't score as many, but I thought Jack played well. He, he played well last week. Um, so we're still kind of finding our way. Uh, but I think the beauty of it is no one really cares who scores. They just, everybody just wants to win. Um, they're willing to make the extra pass. I think Kyle Long has done a really good job uh, of kind of, be in the rock down there and he may not always get the the goal or the assist but he has a big impact on what we do his leadership his speed uh, his vision um and i think you know the rest of the guys really play off of that coach you got Mark, marco signorello in there today Braden Irks is also still developing how can you say and what can you say about the freshmen so far and what you want to yeah. do with them going forward? yeah those two guys have done a good job for us uh, i think they're still getting comfortable but they've been really valuable pieces uh, ryan saracusa had a big goal for us today um so i think all those guys you know the each day and each week of practice we're just trying to get better and each week is a valuable learning experience so hopefully we could just continue to kind of find our mark and then find what those guys do best and then kind of, kind of, kind of, you know, adjust the kind of the, what we're trying to do philosophically with, with some of the different sets and formations to suit their strengths. And I think we're learning about them uh, just as much as they're kind of learning what they need to do to be successful. So um, it's not been easy. Uh, Jake Bernard's done a great job with the group. Um, and we're hopefully as, as, you know, a guy like Braden plays more and gets more comfortable, um, you know, he'll assert himself a little bit more when the time is needed. Moving forward between Teddy and Brian is, is, um, Brian going to be your starter? Uh, we'll see. Um, and I'm not trying to dodge the question. I think he played really well today. Um, we'll see how this week goes. Um, he did nothing to hurt his chances. That's for sure. 
Um, so I think we'll, we'll kind of, I told those guys, like whoever started, you know, just make sure that you're ready. Um, you know, Brian didn't know he was starting till today. Um, I told him pregame, uh, we just, we let this thing play out as much as we could. Um, just because in fairness to the kids, um, just said, Hey, be ready. And, uh, you know, again, we'll see how it goes this week, but I don't think he heard his chances, um, you know, for next week at all. Gotcha. Thank you, coach. Sure. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.